So, my Norns is up here, which is a bit of a reach if I want to interact with the buttons. So, I have this uh, Norns macro mode, and uh, let's see if that focuses. It doesn't want to focus, but you just, yeah. Select this guy, turn it to Norns. And then you can double click. Now I am in Norns mode. Get that focused. So, uh, these ones allow me to change which encoder I'm doing. And select an encoder. So encoder one up here. select encoder 2 and you can select encoder 3 uh, which won't do anything here and then these three are the buttons so I can press button 1 get back into Molly the Polly I uh, go to encoder 3 and uh, Get some new sounds out of it. Now what I can also do is uh, these are directional arrow buttons. So these are actually sending encoder button events. Um, so you can easily like navigate menus and change parameters, which works quite nicely. So if I press um, this button to go into my main menu, and then encoder one, go here. All right, now I have parameters. So now I can press up and down to change which parameter I want to select. And then once I get to a parameter, I can press left or right to change it. would be good if I could make it so it continuously would send encoder events as you're holding it. Uh, but right now you just have to keep pressing it. Um, and if you want continuous events, then select which encoder you want and turn the encoder. Um, when you're in this mode, the CCs for these knobs get set to the uh, a channel you're using on the norms for MIDI control um, which you just select the channel here which it's set to channel 10 and then I should go onto my norms and uh, you can see in the mods I have Q remote enabled. So that mod basically is what's allowing me to control this. And then the settings for Q remote are here under Q remote. And you can see it's set to respond on channel 10 and it consumes these uh, CCs. If you want to send CCs on a different channel, just uh, change your macro channel, but then you have to change it back to 10 in order to get this control working. And it also works with the MIDI fighter twister. So these are the encoders and these are the buttons. I also tried doing the buttons and encoders on one, but then you can accidentally like turn it as you're trying to press. So it's better to keep them separately. And I can actually use both of these at the same time. So using the MIDI fighter twister now. So 
So, I'd say if you're lucky enough to have both the MIDI Fighter Twister and the OMX27, you can use them both together with your Norns and, you know, use your keyboard for sending notes or sequencing. Uh, we also have a, a scale mode now on the OMX27, so I can set a scale I want and uh, set my root key. All right. So there we are in D Lydian. As you can see, D is the root. And I can play notes. And if I'm in the Norns macro mode, um, I can still send notes. That was supposed to update and render the scale too, but uh, I guess it is not working. But it is sending the notes. Um, and likewise, I don't have it currently set up, but uh, you can change the macro mode to M8. Go into M8 mode, you now have your mutes and solos, and it tells your, you you're in mute solo mode. If you press a key, you get a little message telling you what it does. So if you're forgetful, it's very helpful. And you got a bunch of shortcut keys, like, you can go to the mixer, you know, save a snapshot, load a snapshot. Uh, Toggle playback and also toggle the waveform mode. And if you turn the encoder, you go to the second page, and now you have uh, full control over the buttons of the M8. You can also play notes. So this is good for doing note entry while also navigating. So you got up, down, left, right. You got option edit and then uh, shift and play all going on so yeah lots of